Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy weekend, everyone. Started off with a little bit of sunshine. In fact, a little pink in the sky this morning for your Valentine's Day holiday. And then the clouds moved in and temperatures did drop off a bit. So our high temps were in the mid to upper 50s. But by this afternoon, some of those were dropping into the mid to low 50s. A uh, warm spot was Big Sur at 62 degrees. Uh, but then those temperatures dropping off as well. So let's take a look at those rain chances because we've been watching the system up towards the north. And you can feel and see those clouds getting a little darker, a little grayer. And we are going to see some showers coming with the system. Uh, looks like it's going to bring us these rain chances for late tonight and into uh, early tomorrow as well. So let's take a look at our local forecast first so you can see those um, wind amount or wind as well as the rain across the area. So you can see those little areas of drizzle possibly for tonight. You know, you notice any of those darker shades of green are really going to be near the coastline. Areas like Salinas and inland, you may not get much of anything out of this system. In fact, many of us looking like maybe we'll just get a couple of hundreds or maybe a couple of tenths from that as well. Up in the Sierra, you can see some of those uh, pink and blue shades indicating some snowfall. Could get a half a foot around some of these uh, higher elevations up there. And then for us, if anything, maybe a quarter of an inch. We'd be lucky to get a little more than that in some of those higher uh, elevations, but not looking like much, but we'll take what we can get looking at our percentage of where we are uh, for the year. You can see 60% approximately for Salinas and Monterey Watsonville at 82%. So last weekend we were talking about how that was uh, in the upper 80 to 90% and it's dropping rapidly because we haven't really have any significant rainfall days. Now we'll get a little bit to tack on to that over tonight into tomorrow, but not much winds coming in from the West Northwest and we are going to be seeing those staying with us for tonight and then temperatures drop off right now we're in the 50s so pretty mild but that'll drop as well but let's talk about those cold temperatures uh, across the country here you can see our winter weather advisory that's for the sierra over 7,000 feet and up to the pacific northwest but there you can see all of that pink i was talking about with uh, the entire state of arkansas as well as texas seeing uh, those values of uh, very cold temperatures as well as accumulating snowfall. So here are some of those snow reports. You can see that uh, in uh, Texas, up in northern Texas, right by the border of Oklahoma, over seven inches there, and then more snow continuing to fall, as well as all that ice in the southern part. So here are different maps. So you can see the temperatures. Look at that big, big chill all the way down into central uh, Texas showing temperatures below zero in the negative value for actual temperatures. Wind chill of negative 20 in Oklahoma City right now, and that's because those winds are coming in from the north around 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusty conditions as well. Forecast low for tonight, negative five for Oklahoma City, St. Louis one degree forecast high for tomorrow, single digits. So this is just astonishing, a really dangerous situation for them. As we mentioned, they're just not prepped for that. Uh, so hopefully that'll move out of there, but looking like they'll stay cold. We'll stay relatively mild, a little bit of those showers for tomorrow, and then you can see clearing for midweek. Another chance at the end of the week, perhaps in the next weekend. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, very good. Thanks, mm -hmm. Gina.